In today's video, we're gonna break down Dorothea by Taylor Swift, so grab a guitar, grab a capo, click like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know if there's some other songs you'd like me to cover. And check out the Patreon where you can start for as little as $5 a month. It's all down below. Let's get started. In order to play this song like the record, you're gonna need a capo for the second fret, and it's gonna be in standard tuning. Let's take a look at the chords. Since we have a capo in the second fret, I'm gonna talk about the names of the chords as if they were in the first position. So this first chord I'm calling D, even though it's an E. So the first chord is D. Next chord we're gonna take a look at is A. Next up is G. And now E minor. And then finally B minor. And if you can't play the full bar chord, you can try doing it without the low B, so just the fourth string down. Or if that gives you trouble, uh, just try strings one, two, and three. The strumming pattern for this is gonna be down, down, up, up, down. This song has two four chord patterns that repeat back and forth. Uh, the first pattern you're gonna see is gonna be made up of D, then A, G, and then A. And that's gonna be the intro as well as the first verse. That sounds like this. When we get to the pre-chorus, this is the first time that we're gonna see that four chord pattern change. And it's gonna be from E minor, to B minor, to D, and then A. And it's gonna play that two times in the pre-chorus. The chorus is gonna be a combination of the first pattern two times and the second pattern two times. So the first pattern D, A, G, and A. Play that two times through and then followed by E minor, B minor, D, and A. That'll be played twice as well. Immediately after the main chorus part, we get to what I'm calling a post-chorus, and it's gonna keep playing that same second pattern, the E minor, B minor, D, and A. It's gonna play that pattern twice, and at the end of that second pattern, it's gonna do one more measure of A. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play that whole post-chorus part. E minor, B minor, D, A, and it repeats. Here's the extra measure. And that's gonna go right into the second verse. The second verse is gonna have the same four chord pattern that we saw in the beginning. D, A, G, A. And that's gonna repeat three times. Next we come to another pre-chorus pattern. That's gonna be the E minor, the B minor, D, and A pattern again, and that's gonna play two times before we go into the chorus, and the chorus is gonna have those same four chords, and just like the first chorus, the second time through, we've got an extra measure of A. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that whole chorus again so you can hear it. For the outro, we're gonna use the four chord pattern that starts with E minor, and then B minor, D, and A. 
and it's gonna play that four times and on the record it just sort of fades out. So I'll just play it one time through here. So as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward uh, song. There's two chord patterns that repeat, and there's that one slight variation where we carry the A for one extra measure. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what other songs you might like to see me cover. Uh, and check out the Patreon where you can start for as little as $5 a month where we're raising money to get beginners into affordable instruments and lessons. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.